and welcome to Julie Hall Designs. My name is Julie Hall and today I'm going to share with you a fantastic and simple embroidery project using a pre-purchased felt bucket. Felt is great for embroidery and I'm not just talking about the felt that we use to make, remember the finger puppets from when we were younger? This felt is the three or four millimeter felt and it is quite sturdy. Um, and it is used often now for home decor projects. I found this fantastic. It is called a storage basket with buttons, although they are snaps, at my local Kmart store. And it folds out flat and puts together with the snaps and is just perfect for being able to embroider and customise. You could customise these with alphabet letters, you could use your favourite floral design. I thought this was a beautiful way of test stitching a design that I'm working on at the moment. And I'm going to show you the best way to embroider your thick felt. Okay, I'm just going to pop that there for the moment. So this is such an easy technique. All you need is your regular embroidery hoop, whatever size design you are going to use is fine. I am using a 230 by 230 hoop, although the design that I'm doing is an 8 inch design. And what I have done is I, because the felt is too thick to hoop, um, and it is too thick to successfully use the magna pins, I have instead used the double-sided basting tape and I've placed a layer of the basting tape right around the edge of my design. All I'm going to do is then pull that backing paper off and I'm going to get my box together. Now, one thing to think of is how you are going to, and I just don't quite have enough room to keep that there, is how you are going to embroider the box. On my machine, I don't want it hanging down the front, so I am going to embroider my box upside down, meaning that I don't have to worry about, um, and all the bulk will be supported by the table at the back of the hoop. So. I have my hoop here, I have my box, and all I'm going to do is fold that box and place it here on the centre markings of my hoop. Press it down along the basting tape. and then open it out and place it down again. Now, because you are left with a fair bit of bulk, tip that I like to do is to actually come through and fold up the remainder of the box and just hold that together with a um, jumbo quilting clip is perfect. Okay, let's move over to the machine. Okay, so here we are ready to rock and roll. I have my hoop attached to the machine. I have my felt attached via the double-sided basting tape. And I have also run a basting line around my design using my machine's built-in feature. My design is up here on the screen. You'll see I have flipped that upside down so that then it is the right side around on my um, box once it is completed. I am going to come through and I like to set, always set my machine to show me where the stitches are and what colour I'm currently on. When you are embroidering with felt or with any really thick fabric it is always worth slowing down your machine and you will see here that my machine is set on 500 stitches a minute. I'm going to trim that. 
I like 500 stitches a minute as it just seems to be a nice smooth stitch. And we're going to stitch out the first colourway. Once your embroidery is complete, remove your project from your stabiliser. Pull off any of the excess stabiliser. And if I was going to give this as a gift, I would sit there one night and just remove all of the excess stabiliser. And clip up your container. What you are left with is a brilliant storage container that will be used for years to come. Thank you for joining me today. I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.